first and largest trade association for black businesses and professionals in the country, it is an esteemed honor to represent so many entrepreneurs across this nation. Now, our organization has grown to over 120,000 members nationwide with 125 Fortune 500 corporate partners that will assist us in our journey with our regional offices in Atlanta, Detroit, Michigan, and Los Angeles, California, and our national headquarters in Washington, D.C. since 1966. Under Berkeley Burrell, who served as national president, we bring you all greetings with all of our chapters throughout all 50 states and internationally, and we're happy to announce we'll be opening an office in Cape Town, South Africa in the recent future. So to the 3.2 million black-owned businesses across the country, this is our time. And not only in this time, this is a time to represent what the future looks like, what Booker T's model looks like today. And I can tell you, you'll hear it a little bit later on, that Booker T had it right. He had it right from the beginning. His message is more relevant today than it was 122 years ago. And so we're not going to reinvent the wheel. And so I'm so thankful for the Honorable Johnny Ford. Could you all give him a round of applause one more time for sparking the vibration, frequency, and energy that connects us all? And then, of course, when I have to stand next to Charlotte Moores, the president of Tuskegee, I say thank you again for allowing us to come to your home and connect the dots effectively to build on the future. Thank you so much, President Moores. We really appreciate you. And to my mayor, Tony Haygood. Now, y'all got to hang out with Tony in the car, and then you get a chance to see how talented he really is in terms of leadership across this country. So thank you so much, Mayor Haygood, in all that you do. And to American Express, uh, who has committed a substantial amount to this campaign that we're kicking off in January of 2023, which is going to go throughout all 50 states and internationally rechartering our chapters throughout the country in our new digital platform. We say thank you to American Express. And then we have the young leadership of Maria Timer. Where are you at? Tinker. Uh, Tinker. There she is, yeah. Ms. Tinker. Yes, I just wanted to highlight this is what it's all about. Our graduates taking their place and assuming a role because there is no success without succession. And that's what this is all about. So today, uh, we are happy to announce the Black Economic Freedom Movement, which is so critical in our time. We've witnessed so many different movements throughout our struggle for freedom. And now that we have seen educational attainment, political attainment, social attainment, now we are after economic attainment and freedom. That is the focus of our generation. And if it doesn't have an economic shoestring tied to it, then we know we're not walking in those shoes anymore. It's time to focus on building businesses and an economic footprint for the black community. And that's why we're here, folks. And I always say in two scenarios, Everything that we need in the black community is already here. You don't have to go anywhere else. Look how we assembled in just a few months here on this August ground founded by our iconic and legendary leader, Booker T. Washington. This is a time throughout history where we can be proud. This is a time where we can represent the economic prosperity of our ancestors. This is a time where we can connect just, not just locally, but nationally and throughout the entire globe. So we are launching this campaign, witnessing that we suffered during the pandemic, that there is still systematic, institutional, and structural issues we have to deal with in terms of race and our economy. And right now we are saying that to deal with it, we must jump two feet in to the digital economy. If you don't own a website, then you're not in business. And there's a time now out of the 3.2 million black businesses, we know that 98% of those businesses are one employees, sole entrepreneurs, or professionals with a side hustle. And so when we understand that this is the environment 
we have the technological means to deploy to connect everyone. Just because you're a small business does not mean you're not successful. But if we can help that 3.2 million business owners hire one, two, or three more people, then we have just quadrupled or tripled our economy. It's simple math. And I'm an economist and a historian. This is not brain science what we're doing. And if we can put an economic footing attached to the university as the core and symbol of our economic movement, then we're headed in the right direct direction that Booker T wanted for all of us. So with that being said, we know that the problems that stem us partially are access to capital, but most importantly, the digital divide, which constantly separates us from ecosystems that allow for us to build capacity, scope, and scale. And so it is our job here today to make sure that not only are we launching a movement that will help you connect to those resources, but we're gonna do two things. One, the National Business League has built out a 1.3 million technological infrastructure that allows for business owners to connect where they are. If you remember Booker T. Washington, he said, cast down your buckets where you are. And so with that, we have taken that notion and put it into a digital platform. So if you have a cell phone, an iPad, a laptop, or any source of digital device, you will be able to pipe in, not just locally, but throughout the entire country in any form of fashion. The second thing is, are you digital ready? We understand that to compete in this environment, you must be digital ready, just like if you need a loan from the bank, you must be bankable and bank ready. And to have that necessity, you need the technical assistance to surround you and connect you with the technology of the future. And that is our job as a future organizational model that will help connect these digital ecosystems and toolkits for the future. So we will launch a digital ready online assessment tool to engage our members' digital readiness, connect you to the marketplace, and provide you with deployable tools that will allow for you to compete in the marketplace regardless if you're a home-based business owner, a solo entrepreneur, a startup, or even a professional that got a side hustle. This is our time, folks. And last but not least, you'll be able to tap into our newly created digital marketplace, which will deploy resources such as education and training, access to capital, opportunities in contracting and procurement, and this is how we are going to change the game, not just locally, but all throughout the country and around the globe. So it's simple math, folks. It's simple math. Now we have to put in the work, and there's no excuses for us not to be self-sustaining and independent and with an economic platform to drive our community forward. So. One, I want to thank you all for being here today. I'm not going to belabor you all too much. This is just the beginning. Stay tuned. We're going to be working for the next several months as we unveil our infrastructure with our private meetings going into January. And then January, we are going city by city across this country, introducing our new Black Economic Freedom Movement. So welcome to the movement, folks. And again, thank you, City of Tuskegee, Johnny Ford, President Morris, all of the wonderful, the county, my good friend, Miles Robinson, the public relations team in the back who did a yeoman's job at making this event happen in a short notice, and all of the Tuskegee staff and what I call the machine is still in place. Thank you all so much, and we look forward to seeing you at Logan Hall during our luncheon. And this is just the beginning, folks. Booker T. Washington, we've come back home.